And now, First Warn 5 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. Hey folks, radar was busy for a while in the valley today, but look, it's all gone. Things quieting down. There was the rain, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, but by oh, 9 or 10, that was the end of that. The last stuff kind of left over up in Zapata County. Here's where rain fell today, according to the First One Five Doppler Network, and you can see there's uh, kind of miss and hit and miss. There's some pretty good rain in parts of Cameron County, just mainly east of I-69E. E. Matamona's getting more than anybody in Cameron County, almost an inch just to the north side of Brownsville, half an inch around Los Fresnos, about three tenths in the Harlingen area. Some decent rain in extreme northern Willacy, northwestern Willacy County, but Raymondville, Port Mansfield missing out on the good stuff today. Hidalgo County missed out on all of it today, and then you get into Star County and north of Rio Grande City, up in the ranch land, they were eight tenths of an inch to about an inch and a half. So some pretty good stuff out there. Future track looking forward. Not much tonight, pretty quiet. Scattered showers may show up near the coast in the morning and then spread inland as the day goes on. But we're looking at probably less coverage than what we saw today. And then we go into Sunday, even less coverage yet. So we go from, we had about a 40% chance today, 30% tomorrow, about 10% on Sunday. And again, on Monday, as only isolated showers are expected to show up as we dry the atmosphere out a little bit as we go through the weekend. There's your 30, 10, 10 spotty showers. And there could be a pretty good downpour mixed in tomorrow, like what we saw in a couple of spots today, like what we saw in a couple of spots yesterday. But uh, then we dry out somewhat for Sunday and Monday. Not completely dry, but isolated. We don't see temperatures in the 70s very often in July at this time of night. Edinburgh's still 80, but look, it's down to 75 in Harlingen, 79 in McAllen. A pretty pleasant evening out there. I think tomorrow we bounce back to 93, but all the clouds today, all the showers kept temperatures down. Dew points are down just a little bit. We're back to 97 by Sunday and Monday. Rest of Texas tonight, 76 in Abilene, 78 Austin. San Antonio is at 85, up in the Panhandle, 79 degrees tonight in Amarillo. Look for a system to trigger any rain. The only thing we've got is this weak wave that went into the south yesterday and today, but there's still some moisture wrapping in. So tomorrow there's that chance for another shower or two. Again, same thing on Sunday. Moisture starts to kind of fade away on Monday, but even at that, there's stuff very nearby and wouldn't take much for us to get an isolated shower in here even Monday into Tuesday, but we're talking mainly isolated. By the middle of next week, the better chance shows up once again. If you're headed to the coast in the morning, it is the weekend. Why not start at the beach in the morning? 85 degrees. Southeasterly winds at about 7 miles an hour. As we go through the day, the temperatures stay in the 80s. Southeasterly winds all day long. UV is extreme. Rip current risk is low. And the surf temperature is 85. At the coast here, your tides, there's a high, there's a low. Seas are running 2 to 4 feet with a light chop. The bay temperature is 87 right now. 87 the bay temperature. That's just slightly warmer than the bathwater, I think. Slightly. So 75 <laughs> tonight. That early evening shower is now gone. We're partly cloudy. And then tomorrow back up to 93 with a shower thunderstorm in spots. But like today, it's more mist than hit. But if you're not getting rained on, you may see the clouds off on the horizon. Going, oh, somebody's getting it. It's not me. 93, 97, 97. And we hold in that range through most of the next seven days. We don't go up or down a whole lot. Nighttime lows actually a little more comfortable. 75 under 74. A chance of rain again peaks tomorrow at about 30 percent and then tapers off through most of next week but never goes completely away i think every day there'll be an isolated shower or two around That's probably nice. just more widespread tomorrow than the rest of the next seven yeah and you know what else is nice is the dew point it went down so you can feel the difference you can you walk outside and it's like almost comfortable for july yeah enjoy it well, you we, can. Will. <laughs> we will we will all right thanks so much